Yeah, just on with the process of upgrading this BR Fleischmann BR05 from analog to DCC. So I've took the bodies off. Got to be careful when you're taking that body off, it's really tight fitting. Um, and the tender body. And disconnects, when you get the body off, disconnects the feeds to the wheels. So you can access the red wire which comes through from the bulb. The bulb and the smokestack are going to be operated on um, together. If I do put a uh, sl smoke sleeve in there, I desolder the uh, red wire from this area, from the pickups, and join a yellow wire onto it, an extended yellow wire, from there to the decoder in the uh, tender. That's what I'm going to do. That's the first job. Yes, yeah, so I desoldered the red wire and connected it to a yellow one, so I've extended that wire. So I'll reach into the deco decoder in the tender. Uh, it's a bit tricky doing all this, taking the contacts out. While I'm taking the contacts out, they had a bit of dirt <coughs> and a lot of fluff around the wheel, so I'm just going to clean the contacts with Trap Magic, which is great stuff. Yeah, so the, uh, the red wire is desoldered inside the pickup mechanism. It's very tricky to get that off and put it back on again, you've got to be very careful and align it exactly perfect when you're putting it back. You've got to take that screw off, screw there, and the two screws for a smoke stack, which has got the uh, facility for a smoke generator. And inside there's a bulb. So the bulb and the smoke generator is wired together, uh, and that's the wire for power in it. And the earth goes through the chassis. Uh, the earth gets picked up through the, the wheel set, um, then goes back up through um, the light, the smoke generator, then back out through this um, red, which then changes to yellow. That can go to the decoder next. So the next thing is taking away taking the choke off which is there you see that coil I've got to take that off and you've got to snip part of the circuit board right next to that screw that's got to be snipped off to isolate it and we can wire up the motor Right, so I've tested this uh, logo out with the Ulan Brock Fleischmann decoder and it works um, but doesn't work on the ECOS system. It just doesn't like this decoder because it's a very very early decoder. Um, so I tried messing around with the CVs, resetting it all sorts, can't get it going so I'm going to install a very tiny ESU V4 Micro. Yeah, and of course, before I even cut the wires on this decoder, because I'm going to hardwire it, um, I'm just testing it on the decoder tester. So, yeah, it works fine. Lights, everything. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll just cut the end off. This is um, peak power is 0 0.7 amps, and I've used it before in another loco Loxar micro, uh, or the lock, well, not the lock um, pilot micro, but the lock sound micro I've used in another loco in HO scale. It's worked all the lighting and the sound, no problems whatsoever. Just not as powerful on the um, if you're using a bass reflex. There's not enough power to to drive that speaker system if you're using big speakers. But on this, I'm just going to fit it in round here, and it should fit nice and snug. And hardwire this in now, and it's only tiny this thing, unbelievably small. So 
failing that, I can put an 8 pin uh, male interface on the end, which I've got, and then I can um, put a female interface at this end from the motor and possibly put sound on it in the future. But for now, it's just staying non sound. Yeah, so where the red wire comes from, <coughs> from the smokestack uh, heat generator and the front light, cut that below the chassis area there. Join a wire on, which I have, yellow wire, bring it through, join it to the white wire of the decoder, and, uh, and that's it really for the front light, and the yellow wire joins to the black wire on the bulb on the back, and you can adjust the CVs for the brightness as and when and how bright you want it on the decoder, so I'm just leaving the standard bulbs in. Uh, and then the grey wire from the decoder goes to the top, orange wire to the right, red wires at the bottom, right hand side, and black wires on the bottom left. And then you just got to make the cut where that screw is. That's where you make the cut on the circuit board, just, just splice it off so it doesn't make a connection all the way around. Right there. That's how I've done it. Black wires join up there. To the black wire from the front uh, wheel sets, you join up with the black wire from the decoder on the bottom left hand of the motor. I'll show a picture of it just to show more detail. Yeah, so there we go. Bulbs are working, motors working, yeah so I can just double check it all and put the tiny little chip back, the tiniest ones I've ever seen look, like the smallest chips I've ever used, well anyway it seems to have worked out alright this. I'll put it back together now. Yeah, so I brought the um, front and rear lights down to 22. Yeah, not too bright. And that looks something like that. Looks quite bright on the camera, but there's really not a lot of power going to it. It doesn't really get hot. That's what we want. To remove the body from this uh, BRL5, I've got to take the front bogey off. And the front bogey has the body screw as well, it doubles up as the body screw. The rear bogey, take that off. It's a threaded screw, you've got to be careful putting that back. And then there's another self tapping screw that goes into the body there. A flat head screw. Anyway, it's a really tricky body to get off. You've got to prise it outwards and be very careful not to damage it. Although it's ABS plastic and it is flexible. But it is a really, really tricky body to get off and you've got to take your time. Yeah, so it's now complete, the BR Fleischmann 05 streamline glass, that's a box for it, quite an old box. That number is for the black version, not the white, not the photo number, other than that it's identical. Um, so that's all done, white in bulbs, put a cab, cab crew on board, two driver there, one of them. So I'm going to get that on the track. Another project which you can see in the background I've been working on um, is the F7 and this is now 100% complete because uh, I've got it all the DCC conversion done but the lighting 
I could not get this centre lighting to work. I tried everything, but now it's uh, that has been solved, and it's took hours to do it to suss out how to do it and uh, get that working. So I'll just have a short, quick vid of that when I, when I get time.